You are now listening to Between Us Girls, the podcast, where we discuss life's fuckeries and then some over wine. So, hey, welcome to our show. This is Michelle. Danielle. And Sharonda. And this is It's Us Girls. Girls. And you can always find us on Facebook Live on Friday evenings around 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Like you can now, all you have to do is go to our Facebook Live page and watch the video. We try to share it everywhere, but it's always going to be there. So, tonight we are going to be discussing... New Year, New Me phenomena. I feel like it's only been like a thing for the last couple of years. Mm. I don't. I think that shit's been wild as fuck like all this time. Well, I feel like it's been a thing, but it only had like a hashtag name for oh, a, a few years. years. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, yeah. every year people are always like, you know what, this year I'm going to do blah, blah, blah. Or this year I'm going to lose weight. Or this year I'm going to, you know, like set goals or whatever. Mm-hmm. But that hashtag, new year, new me, like, what does that mean? That kills me. I hate that shit. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But before we do that, Danielle, what's your positivity? Oh, okay. So let's see what it is. So this week's motivation is being joyful is not seasonal work. Keep that same energy year round. (laughs) Stupid. Yeah, so I mean... That's a hashtag, hashtag, keep that safe. So don't be an asshole every moment except for Christmas. Yeah, I mean, you know, people are just generally nicer around the holidays. I mean, just like um, at work and home or just going places, there's always food readily available. People are just bringing in things. They're giving gifts and people People are smiling. Yes, so it's like, you know, don't... Don't just be happy and giving and stuff around the holidays. Like, try strive to be that way all the time. Okay. Um, yeah. I did take the kids over to see Christmas lights. Um, y'all know where Prestonwood, right? Where they have lots of lights kind of nearby me. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so all the kids were hanging out the window and they were like, Merry Christmas! each Aww. other and shit and I was like hey. <laughs> first of all fuck these kids fuck their parents and shit <laughs> no but really I was like they're all so excited and they're like it's Christmas and Merry Christmas and so and, and we's they, happy yeah we is happy and we is giving and we is finna get stuff mm-hmm. so I feel like if you always get yourself in a space where you're gonna receive some shit mm-hmm. you'll be ready to like okay I need to do mine. What? Fuck? Girl, what? Uh, that, that's why I have timeline. To do. No, you cannot just tag me. Well, you can tag me. You can't just post shit on my timeline. Did you see what that was? Like, yes. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. Yeah. So, Sharana, what are we sipping on? Today, we are sipping on a Roble Dorado, mm-hmm. which is a Savion. Um, aged in tequila barrels. Second one. Yeah, because we, we've had that uh, kind before, or had that same type of aging before. And it was in the same type of bottle. They they slick. They're like they do. Yeah, oh, they do because it looked like a, it looked like a tequila bottle. It sure did. Um, it looks like a resposado. So, <laughs> yes, no, um, it's thirteen point two percent alcohol. Okay, turn up a little bit. Ew, baby, turn up, baby, turn up. And there's not. Oh, it is. I'm sorry. The uh, vintage is 2017. Okay. Well, that's not bad. So we'll let y'all know. Mm-hmm. That's the bottle. We know it's backwards. Just, <laughs> shut up. Just look at the bottle. Just look at the that's bottle. That's okay. Well, is it? Look up there. Is it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. We'll let you know how we. Let's we talk. What, what was it? It was New Year, New Me. And was there, there was another thing, right? Or that was pretty much it. Because I can't look at my messages. I think that's, that's all. Okay. So we're going to talk about New Me. New, well, okay. New year, new me. Yeah, I can't speak, but new year, new me. Mm-hmm. So, the thing is, is when people say new year, new me, 
they usually mean New Year, I'm going to do some different shit. But what actually ends up happening is they be doing the same shit that they did last year. <laughs> so, we want to talk about that. And then also we want to address this, I'm cutting off people. Because that happens every year, every year at the end of the year. It's like, if you don't see my post, if you don't see me. Um, in 2019, you got cut off, and I'm about to go do a, a sweep. And but like, just why do you have to do delete, that every year? Just but here, just delete people. Why are you waiting to a certain time to? Why are you waiting until a certain time to say, you know what? I'm going to start deleting people. Like, if you know you don't like this person, don't want to see what they post, just either block them or delete them or what's the other thing? The, the unfollow thing. Yeah, unfollow take a break. Them, take, take a break. break from them. Yeah, like. Miss me with the bullshit. That's so dumb. Danielle, you seem like a New Year, New Me person. Are you? Absolutely not. Thought so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just fuck it today. It's fucking opposite today. I know she's like, bitch. <laughs> no. No, I, I mean, I don't quite understand um, the concepts of either like cutting people off or, you know, New Year, New Me when we're literally talking about a day. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, to. You have to build up to change. Um, everything that you do, everything that you have done up until this point, the things that you're talking about, you want to to not do anymore. That is a habit, right. you know. And so you cannot ju- you cannot go in with the expectation of on tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym every single day. On tomorrow I'm not going to talk to this person or that mm-hmm. person. On mm-hmm. tomorrow I'm going to leave behind. All of this baggage, all of these things. I'm gonna stop smoking you crack know, on January. You know, the exactly. on January one. Like, I'm no gonna hair like, on. You can't. You can't. You can't do that. Real, you can, <laughs> well, okay, I can. Uh, you know what? You can I can't like all the way fully say that because me personally, if I'm gonna do something, like I have to be. I have to go all the way out like that. Like mm-hmm. I can't just kind of do baby steps with it. You have to say. I have to say this, one, I'm gonna do it. I have to wrap my my head around it first. And I don't think that I think a lot of people put this date in mind, and it's not not necessarily saying, okay, you know what? I'm actually comfortable with this. I'm going to move in this direction. You're set. You're basically setting yourself up for failure because you're saying, on this date, I'm going to do this, and up until this date, I'm going to wild the fuck out. You and know, I'm do a, that too. and then and then you know, this date comes, and now you have to make this change, and it's like, wait a minute. It's too abrupt. It's it's too, it's, it's it's too, too much. It's Your too addiction simple. is super high because you. Okay, let me let me put it like this: in smoking cessation, where you quit smoking, they you know they help you quit smoking. Mm-hmm. You have to set a quit date. So like you look at the calendar and you say, okay, well I'm gonna quit on X Y Z day. Okay. Boy, if you don't smoke all the cigarettes mm-hmm. up until that day, you'd be like. You smoke, 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 smoke. Mm-hmm. So then, of course, the nicotine in your blood is like extremely high. That's crazy. And then you get to this day and you're like, fuck. Right. <laughs> it's just like, same thing with eating. Like, you know, right. it's like, you know what? On All diets start on Monday, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like, all weekend long, I'm going to eat like shit. And then on Monday, I'm going to say magnesium citrate and I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to do that or whatever, right? But And now your body is like craving all of the crap. When you try to make that change Mm -hmm. versus if you like slowly build up to that kind of change, you know, because I mean, I'll I'll use just for me, for an example, in order for me to do keto, I had to just like, you know what, I'm I'm one, I'm ready to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's like, that's one, that's the main thing. You have to be ready for whatever change it is that you want to do. And you have to, you have to fully understand what it is that you're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and so... I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make all my meals. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do all of this shit. I'm gonna research. Blah blah blah. What can I eat? What can I not eat? Da 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 da. And but I kind of slowly built up to the point where I was like, you know what? I can completely do this. Mm-hmm. And I did not. However, on the when I started working out, I wasn't working out three to four times a week from the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I had to slowly build up build because, up that. because yeah. that was not something I like to work out, but that get up and go is is hard as hell. Especially yeah. because you work out in the morning too. Like that is tough. You have That's to have best. discipline for like that. for um the kind of change that 
people talk about. And yeah. I don't think people are necessarily ready for that level of discipline that you have to have. Because it's like, well, oh, it's just this one time. And then the one time becomes two, it becomes three, it comes four. And the next thing you know, you're not yeah. exactly like this guy that came to my job and he was talking to us about, you know, healthy eating. And he was he was saying, you know, you don't have to like just go all the way out at first. Just split your plate, plate in half mm -hmm. and, yeah. and have all vegetables with your hamburger. Yeah. You know, because he and instead he was, of fries, instead of fries. And he was saying, you know. Everybody that starts um, th this New Year thing by January nineteenth, they quit Fail. completely. Yeah, they completely quit because they set these way high expectations, which is what people do with this New Year, New Me cutting off. I'm not dealing with this person. I'm not dealing with that. And then meanwhile, they it, call and you like, like, fuck, I'm coming. You know, right. like <laughs> it's just. And then somebody's like, I thought you said that exactly. You. And then uh, everybody else then is gonna call you out and shit. And then you'll be looking stupid yeah. and feeling like, bitch, shut up. Yeah, you know, like, I, just don't say it. I'm living me. I'm doing me. Mind your business or whatever, blah blah blah. You know, what? just be realistic with yourself right. and what it is that you can and cannot do. Like you need to know your limitations. Like I know, like me and Shana, we were talking about being vegan. Um, just like that. Yeah. yeah, just before we started recording. I know me. There is no fucking way in hell. Cause cheese. Cause. Cause cheese. Yeah. She said it. No, I, she said that's it. what I told her. Yeah. Cheese. cheese. There's no. Cheese. There's no way I, I would be mm. able to go vegan. I, like I could give up meat. I could give up eggs. Whatever. But cheese. That's why I draw the line. But that's why I like keto because I was like, this is all cheese. <laughs> all the cheese, fish. All the cream and, and some meat. And some meat and some bacon and just healthy fats. You know, avocado. Stuff you like. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> uh, Okay. Can you? What? Soder's just messaging me. I don't know what. Um, maybe she can't she join us or something. No, she just sent me an inbox. Oh. oh, she joined. But like, hey, I pretty much can't answer you. So anyway, I, I don't know. Like I just said, go ahead. Uh, I just feel like <clears throat> this new year, new me is bullshit. One because. It has taken you X amount of time or whatever to be even become the person that you right. are. It's it's a build up of all of the all of the things, all of the um, the actions and the the things that have happened to you in life that just have contributed to help you become who you are as a person. So at the end of the day, the fact that you feel like oh I can just throw all this shit away in this new year, it's just completely, like Danielle said, it's unrealistic and it's just fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, really, if you are if you actually wait till a certain date to do something, like, bitch, you wasn't ready. Like, you're not yeah. trying to do it because if you're cutting off toxic people, you know, a uh, uh, year, one year, whatever, like this year, something the fuck is wrong with you because you should have been cutting toxic people the fuck out when you found out they were toxic people like right. stop doing don't wait this. until the new year to be like you know what I don't need this yes. in my life. and then yeah. it, it really becomes an issue in my opinion where it's like people are using this to using the new year to lean on it like oh I'm gonna change XYZ change that shit today like why do you have to wait on a, a new year or a new year's celebration but that's or... about getting mentally ready though you know like I, it's a process and you need to understand that it is a process right. to get yourself it's mentally it's ready the yeah. days like, don't days of the week don't matter yeah when i started being vegan it was on a random ass saturday i watched the wrong documentary on Netflix and about guess what? And you were like, oh, right, about know. meat and stuff and bitch, everything in my freezer by the end of Saturday night was in the trash can and I was fucking eating vegetables. But some chicken wings good though. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, my point is like, you're you're being a full-blown idiot when you say that. So just know now to anybody who's on my friends list or whatever, if I see that bullshit on my timeline, I'm fucking gonna blast you. I'm going to let you have a few comebacks. I may go back and forth with you and I'm deleting your ass because you're stupid. That's dumb. That's just, to me, that's just the dumbest shit ever. Like, I understand setting, you know, mental expectations. I love things like vision boards. Like, I'm a, but I'm a very realistic person. And realistically, if you had to wait to the new year to, to execute XYZ, like, bitch, you're not about that life. You're not ready you're to just, do it. You're just you're saying ready. some shit or you're bored or because you my, want attention on here's Facebook. Here's my thing is people who are like, I'm gonna do it. It's like it didn't take you one day to become an alcoholic. That's my point. It's a, and that was <laughs> like saying it's, it's a complete it for me. It's a complete right. build up. Mm -hmm. And so, that's why everybody quits by the nineteenth, like you said, because it takes twenty two days to form a habit, period. Mm -hmm. Right. So you can't even make it to twenty two. 
girl, call him back. Yes, he's going to try to flip your income tax check. And you're going to let him Or it yes, he's going to drop your ass off at work and be in your car like Jody and go visit other bitches. I'm like, in my car, Jody. Leave, leave, stop. You're not fooling us. And you damn sure not fooling yourself. I mean, so it's okay to say, it to, to say that stuff because I feel like it's good to say, I want to make this change. But just realize that saying new year, new me, and January 1st coming isn't going to get it. You're going to have to work really hard at that. Right. And it's going to take you all of January right. to become the person that you, well, not even become the person, but to make the change, change yeah. that you yeah. want to make. Make a change. Yeah. Like, like, you know, I don't really believe in resolutions just because of what all we've said. Yeah. But 100%. I, I do believe in setting goals. And right. I mean, resolutions in a sense are a goal, but I think that just the nature that resolutions are associated with, you know, the mindset and whatever like I'm that, gonna do this but you don't year. necessarily take it as seriously as you do take um, goals that you want to meet. Because I say that. Even though I didn't set a res- resolution for it, my goal was to overall be healthier. Mm. You know, yeah. and like I may not have lost like all the weight that I okay, wanted to lose, lost a lot of weight. but you but lost a lot. I, I, in the process, you know, I became healthier. Like I had energy, mm-hmm. whereas beforehand, like it would take me a minute to just get out of bed. Now mm-hmm. I can like hop out of bed. Versus laying there for an hour, you know, and be like, oh my God, I gotta do this. And you're actively working towards the goal. Right. So, That's the difference. Like, you're actually putting in the thoughts behind it. You're putting the, the work behind it. Like it takes it. a lot. Like, you have it to takes really. A lot. I think that a lot of people, they, they say these things, you know, new year, new me, I'm cutting off this and that, but they don't. They don't take into consideration the thought process that goes no behind it. Like, you have to have. You have a to fucking plan in uh, place. Yes, you have to have a <laughs> like plan. Yes. I'm gonna do it. Right. You have to actually how? think about right. how you're going to act these things out. You know, mm-hmm. how are you going to incorporate a healthier lifestyle into your current lifestyle? Right. Like how are you going to balance that with your family if your family does not want to eat that way? Right. And then are you going to push that off on them and are you gonna be prepared for that pushback? Because it's like you eating that way. I don't. That don't mean I want to eat that right, way. Right. Or whatever. Right. Or whatever it is that you are trying to incorporate right. into your life. Like, how is that going to affect your life as a whole? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And people always ask me, "Well, what about your kids? What do they eat?" I'm like, "Well, first of all, because I try. I've had been eating keto for a while, but because I try to eat keto, I I don't eat the like." carbs mm. that I cook for the kids. I'll make them potatoes mm-hmm. or macaroni or whatever. And I'm lying. I eat the fuck out of the macaroni. But okay. even when you do cook uh, like that, like you, you are you, know you disciplined food? enough to make that food for them and not eat it? Yeah, like you that's, really. that's but I'm saying like in general, like for other people that are trying to take on a different lifestyle. Like that's something that you have oh, to think or, about. Or, but yeah. You know, mm-hmm. that that's another aspect to healthy eating or a lifestyle change rather is how do you how do you prepare are you are are you prepared to make two meals and then also return the wash hour has <laughs> but like also Long when your stress. friends want to go out to eat like do you have the discipline to say i'm gonna eat a salad or i'm right. just gonna eat this or i'm gonna eat and know that you're gonna get pushback from your friends when right you eat, when you go out to eat that. Yeah, exactly don't taste this or whatever mm. and you know it's good it's just one day you know right. and then but one it's day, so easy to fall back into that because that's kind of how i yeah. ended up just eating whatever i wanted because yeah. i was like oh and then i was like i'm still thin Wow. Right. I mean, right. And then all of a sudden, it was like, nah. You right. know what I mean? Same, same way with some dick. Yeah. Just go over there yeah. and call that dick you one like, time. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I said I was going to sip that motherfucker. <laughs> This bitch. Oh my no, but really, though, I keep tripping and falling on this. Thing. I keep, I keep falling and slipping and tripping and falling on that dick. It is yeah. what it is. Damn it! God dang. No, it's no, just, really, it's good to have goals. But it just, is, but but that that new year, new me, and I'm Be cutting off realistic. this net. That's because so there's, because there's no real plan behind it. Exactly. Well, okay. even if there is a plan, let's say you just thought this whole shit out and you want to do all that. It literally is active work every day to maintain it. You can set a goal right. all day long, but you have to actively put in the work to make to, to, to reach you it. You have to choose it every, every day. day. And especially with food, you have to choose it yeah. every meal. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and that is it's every hard. Day. Yes, it is. It's hard. It is because I was doing intermittent fasting and people at work would be like, 
God, you want breakfast? We want to go to Chick Fil A. I'm like, no, no, Satan. You yeah. know, because I'm like, I can't eat until twelve, and then I would be like, I'm eating what I brought, or right. I'm eating yeah. the salad, but or that's whatever. The, that's know? the thing about change is that with change, you have to make the decision each and every time, every time, until it beces a habit. Right. You that know? becomes twenty two days. Like that becomes your new new normal. Exactly. Yep. Right. And so just to say that you're going to do that. It's just work. It's I mean, and it's, it's stupid like, though. It's it's dumb. Like I hate seeing it. I hate seeing it on social media. I hate people that start talking to me about it. Like this lady that um I know and I'm not gonna say where I know her from, but this lady started talking to me about this shit just yesterday and I literally like turned around and walked off. <laughs> like in the middle of her conversation because she was like in the it's new like, year bye. in the new year, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I was like, Oh, okay. Bitch and I just clean just pranced off and you know she did too yeah because i'm an asshole and i don't care but at the end of the day like i don't want to hear that shit tell me something like hey i'm working towards doing xyz or i'm trying to do whatever but oh girl because next year i'm doing it i know you like, sound stupid yeah. you sound so dumb that that why and i don't i still don't understand why this one day is just yeah. such a i understand because maybe it's the first it's the first uh, the next well, year. it is and i guess yeah. that represents new beginnings right you know and it, so it's it, okay. it represents everything that it represents it's like you know what i have another chance right i can be better like and so it's it's very hopeful in that sense oh okay. but you really have to start playing for that hope. shit like december Fuck 1st yeah. say or or before okay so if i'm gonna make this change in january i need to start doing xyz because like danielle said it's like you have to build up to it so that means I have to start tapering back or I have to start, yeah. you know, eating something different or I need to cut these people out right. now. That way next year, whenever I said I was going to do it, I can be like, get thee behind me, bitch. <laughs> you know, especially when it comes to cutting off people like, oh, I'm cutting off blah, 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 blah. I'm sending me for the announcement. For why that. do you announce? Right. That was, was going to be my next comment. Why do you, why are you waiting until now to do that? And why do you have to announce it? Right. And why do you have to announce that you're sweeping through your friends list? Y'all ain't going to be ready whenever I Here's go through my funny. friends list next week. And then some of y'all ain't going to be on my friends list right. next week. Like, and it's like, well, who's going to know who they're, who's not on there? Just delete them and move on. Like, why? How do you know? Thank it's you. Attention. Because we don't know until somebody says, girl, did you see what so-and-so said? Oh, no, I can't And then you'd be like, I'm not on oh, shit, list. she unfriended me. Like, that's when you know. Like, yeah. so the, the time when you're like, I'm going to cut off all these people. They don't know. They're not looking. They don't care. If they don't see me in their newsfeed, they're like, she goes like saying shit. Okay, so, um, what? No, I, I feel like we, we need to move on. Okay. <laughs> we do. We're, we're harping. But we, we actually yeah, kind we of trans- topic? We transitioned yes. into the other topic, though, really. No, I, I, the, we have questions from our people. Oh, thank you. Oh, that, okay. And everybody wanted me to ask these questions. Okay. This first set of questions. Let's just do so it. y'all know. And I was I was against it. There the neighbors. neighbors. The fucking <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do you love this shit? Are you high? Are you high, are you high, high right, right now? now? <laughs> Do you ever get nervous? Are you single? I <laughs> heard you fucked Fuck your, your girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, you get money? You think the niggas is with you? Okay. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so saying uh, I'm yeah. saying no to everything except for do I get money? <laughs> Because in 2019, I'm getting all the money. All the, getting all the money. secure in the bag. On January 1, we're going to start securing the bag. Save money and secure the bag. Secure okay. the bag. Secure the bag. Okay. What's, uh, the, what's the real question? Okay. <laughs> so, I'm like, <laughs> um, so, one of the questions um, What's the best thing that's happened to you this year? Damn, sure I want to go first. <laughs> the best thing that's happened to me this year um, I accomplished a really big goal of mine and that goal um, was to graduate from culinary school and it was for me to do so because I'm such a fucking overachiever it was to do so with at least a 4.0 um, GPA and graduate gold with my school um, I did that I was like number I want to say number Girl, congratulations to your life thank you <laughs> I think I was number two in my class I was pissed that I wasn't number one but I was number two in my class so like that was you know and I wanted to quit I'm not gonna lie culinary school 
it's not it is hard but it is very time consuming because at the end you really have to um basically do labs and that which means being there and you have to be there like basically 25 to 30 hours a week on top of whatever job you work so that was very hard for me and i wanted to quit so many times but um i didn't and i i accomplished that goal so to me that was like the best thing that happened because mm -hmm. it solidified my abrupt career change girl i'm so proud of you oh thank you you don't have to wear them goddamn chef pants no more. i don't oh my god i don't i don't <laughs> them chef pants that's how i knew i was like sharonda been to school she got them chef pants on yeah, and right. i was wearing my scrubs at the same time so she was like so yeah. the bitch <laughs> so, so this is how bitches do you they the pot call them the kettle black uniform trying to talk about a uniform bitch please at least I got snacks. <laughs> anyway. Um, Danielle, what's the best thing that happened to you? Yeah, what's the best thing? Why are you trying to skip and go to the next question? Oh, I was. She really yeah, trying to ask okay, well, let me answer. I made a lot of life changes in 2018. Ooh. Probably the best thing that happened to me was moving to this house that has so many weird ass issues <laughs> like honestly moving in here made me change things it was like a catalyst to everything that I was comfortable with mm -hmm. so I had to go mm, nope that's not gonna work it's not gonna work and you know when the car ran into the house it was kind of like Fuck. but it, honestly everything has come full circle me and my kids we have a super close relationship now oh, even awesome. though me and Michaela I just want to like run away from her like Terrence is calling me right now while we're recording but I think this is like probably the best thing that happened to me this so this you think semester. it like brought y'all like closer yeah together I mean, we don't have any space like that's it's like a little bungalow we're all mm -hmm. like what's up dude there is space nah. but everybody has their own space to go to you know what I mean does it girl? Yeah, they do. Well, you don't, know, because yeah, Michaela you. is in your pants like right now. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so you can move on to the That's next cool. one. No, she needs to answer. What's the best thing that happened to you this year? Um, I would say just like growing as a person. Um, I mean, I learned some different things about myself. I nurtured some different things about myself. Like I'm. I'm I have never been just a very disciplined person and like I really didn't think that that was something that was in, like, in me and um, you know like that came to light um, I guess now I need to just roll it over into some other areas in my life uh, <laughs> but <laughs> January 1st you can do it but no comment though but no comment yeah, though but but here, I, think, you. I think just like um, just a sense of self-awareness and uh, becoming more at peace with myself. Like I started to meditate a lot. That's um, really big. And meditate and masturbate. Yes. Because <laughs> join the resistance. Masturbate and me and then meditate because it, you relax all the way into the meditation when you do that. Right. <laughs> Because <laughs> one with thine own motherfucking self. For real though, but I feel like whenever I try to meditate, my head is like it's yeah, you you your mind you think it's too hard. Much. It's so hard. if you masturbate beforehand, it's kinda like you get all of that energy yeah, out out of there and you Yeah, because you like think about how you feel when you, after you masturbate. You be like <sighs> Exactly. And you get ready to go mad. And then you just sit up there for a minute and then just like, mm. I mean, it don't have to be long. Like, I mean, I, I still cannot um, meditate for long. Like, that's a goal is to be able to meditate that's for That's amazing. Have you thought about going back to the temple? Yeah, but I just, I don't have time. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the, yeah. And then on Saturdays, like, I don't want to drive all the way to the other side. Right. Is that there? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I... Because I've been meditating since high school. I had to learn oh, this shit. Look at you. No, 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 no. It was for it was for different reasons. But I had I had to start meditating in high school. And really, I like meditating when I'm at that high and everything is crazy because I literally have learned how to like breathe all that shit out. Like mm -hmm. breathe, like inhale with the thoughts and just like breathe them out. It's it sounds super gay, but it really works. I'm terrible at for that me, shit. huh? I'm terrible. 
it's hard because it's hard to clear your mind. It is. It's, it's my it's hard to clear your mind. Like, but it takes a lot. Like she would say, it just takes practice. It does. You have to, and that's why with me, it was literally a breathing exercise of like, okay, up, oh, stop that thought, breathe it out, keep going. So. Okay, uh, next question. Okay. Because I was about to do this for like <laughs> all day, all day. Uh, what, what is Michelle's favorite song to sing? Oh my God, all of them. Um, my favorite song to sing. Gosh, I put something on our website. But I feel like I said anything. It used to be, um... <laughs> so he used Let to sing see. all the time. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, um, you, know, you just put anything Beyonce on the website. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Are you all my love? They didn't ask you to sing, <laughs> but it's gonna happen. You know that. You want my loving soul? Okay. Next what propelled Sharonda to call Danielle oh, Brawl is Satan? Because she wasn't wearing no damn bra. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. laughs> First of all, Danielle is, y'all think I'm mean? I just speak my mind. I'm really not a mean person. I'm a, I'm a very nice person. I'm an evil person. I just really have no filter. That's my issue, okay? And I'm not working on it. Right. Danielle's ass is a vicious person. She's not a vicious person, okay, but she's Danielle, vicious person. she's not vicious. Okay, Danielle, she's just vicious. Okay, she is. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But what, that day, that bitch was being mean. She was just being mean. Like, what's that being mean? You were just saying like crazy shit. And, and she, then you came in here with no bra. We were like, but see, what? but Danielle, y'all don't know this about Danielle. I'm not gonna TMI them real quick. This motherfucker don't like wearing bras and she don't or like pants. wearing pants. So Danielle's normal. Like, if you are, even if you don't know her, fuck it, because she just introduced somebody. This bitch, when you go to her house, has on no bra, yeah, and a no shirt, pants. and panties. That no is pants. it. So she's a, a straight up was a Nina Howard song yeah, t-shirt and her panties. panties. That's Danielle's life. Exactly. And she'd be like, what? What? Like, what's wrong? <laughs> that was the first time I ever went over there and she was dressed like that. I was like, no, what? I just met my son's girlfriend. <gasps> I was just getting, I wasn't going to put you on blast. I, I swear. <laughs> you can shoot him like that. Okay. She needs to know it's real. Fuck her. She needs to know what's up. She's, bitch. she's a sweet little girl. And I fight like this too. Okay. <laughs> so, so Keyshawn brought his girl, and Danielle was like, "Hold on, I'm gonna get up." And she had on. Oh, Actually, she, she probably answered the door. Door. She <laughs> probably answered the door like that. I know she did. Actually, I was in the kitchen cooking. So, <laughs> see what's like, hey, what's up? Yeah, what color were your underwear? Oh, they were black and white stripes. Okay, and the t-shirt. It was black. I was actually matching. Matching. Oh, okay, matching. I was about to say at least you matched. I was matching. I was. Act, I was. Act, I was act. Anyway, she was acting like Satan that day, and she had been to mention to us before we. Well, not happened to mention. I think we looked at her and was like, "Bitch, you didn't have a bra." On. <laughs> she was like, "No." I she was like, "No, I don't have a bra." On. You know what it was? It was one day that she told us we need to get dressed. To take pictures or something, Did I know? and then her ass showed up with no bra and yoga pants <laughs> I on. That, bitch, that was I don't think that was the day that I was we had like, to take pictures. That was, but that wasn't well, the day that I said. Well, it. it was like it ended up being like a cluster where we couldn't do it, and you were like, hmm. and I said, damn, that's what you came in with the fuck. And I said, you don't have no bra, that, that, and I said, oh, okay. I mean, I don't understand the problem. Well, anyway, that's how it. She became brawler Satan yeah. that day because she was being mean as fuck and she already didn't have no bra on. So pretty much. Brawler Satan. Okay. So um what is the best wine you've had so far? Danielle, you can answer that because I don't even pay attention to really. Um that's actually a really good question. I'm trying to think of which one no, receive uh, in the name of the Lord. You know, I think that other one that with, with tequila we all liked. Yeah, that was the, it had flowers on the bottle. Yeah, yes, I think it did. we all really liked I that tequila. I do remember that one. I don't remember what kind of wine that was though. It I was a, I think it was, it was a Sauvignon. Sauvignon. It was. It was a Sauvignon. It was either. It was. I a remember white. the bottle. Yeah, yeah, the bottle was similar. It was a white wine. Yeah. Yes, I it was. Just, it might have been a Sauvignon. Yeah, it had to have been because I know it was no Chardonnay. No. No. Yeah. It was. It was definitely a Sauvignon. Yeah. And it was aged in the, the tequila. Because I think, yeah. actually, um, I bought that. Like, I was drinking that one for a minute. 
Yeah, you did. You bought it. And that was really, it wasn't long ago. No, it wasn't long it wasn't ago, actually. That that so that's your favorite. What was your, do you know, Michelle? She don't pay no attention. She don't care. Thank you. It's just lit. My favorite wine was the wine we had at, at Danielle's house where Marcus brought the 5% and we put vodka in it. <laughs> oh, vodka. Okay, so the answer to the question is a vodka wine. It's, the, it's Michelle's favorite. I actually do remember our my favorite that we had. I just can't remember the name. But it was when we were at Naya's recording. Oh, damn, you don't need And um, it was a. I think. Okay, yeah, you can have it all. It was a. Um, a, a, rose, a Pinot Noir rose. Oh, yeah, that was That Pinot Noir. That was, Pinot Noir, that, for me. that was so fucking I was, good. I was drinking that Pinot Noir. I, I don't, because I don't like Pinot Noir. You don't Noir. like Pinot Noir. Yeah, right? I was like, oh, but my the rose God, was that I was like, what? Yeah. I don't remember yeah. if I got that or if. I, I feel like I might I have got like that. Did I think that. I did yeah. because, and then it was weird because at that time I was still in my sommelier class for school, so I was really into like pulling mm-hmm. weird blends like Pinot Noir Rosé. Like yeah. that was just, that was weird, but that was a fantastic grape. I love that. You know, I did like a particular rosé that was very angel. It was so good. The Why do I remember that name, Ileana? Oh yeah, that that rose that was good. Man, that it was Frank Angel was yeah. good, yeah. and I was like, damn, this would be a nice base for a sangria. That's all I would think oh, about. I, think I just like that wine. Well, it had a no, it, it had good. a little bit of a crisp on it. I do remember that. And if you put it in there, and you could have put some cranberry juice in it, mm-hmm. and some fruit, uh, fresh cold fruit. I feel like frozen. we should bottle a sangria and call it Bugria. You know what? While you're playing, like one of my friends does have a. Um, um, they're doing fuck. Never mind. Because Thank you. Get on me. That's a, he's doing something with some bees. Um, and then they have like a little field for the wines. But I don't remember what the bees were for. Was it like the honey, or they were pollinating something? Because he sent me the pictures wax? in in a bee suit. Like him and his brother had this uh, land out in um, East Texas. I want to know about yeah. that. I mean, we could totally do so, like, like a wine. Yeah. A sangria. Like he would be he yeah. actually would be like about all completely game for that. Because all of our all of our different flavor profiles that we like, you know what I mean? She likes the 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 white and the light. I'm gonna say that. I love the red and you like strong. So I oh, think all of our different actually I, I wanna change mine. That mine. Um, I wanna change mine. I wanna change mine. Because my name is Michaela and, <laughs> and I don't know how to say mine. that. Mine. When you said red, I was like, okay, we did have a really good red that, that Zinfandel um Oh yeah, you what was it? That um one. The what bourbon. It? The bourbon barrel bourbon barrels? The bourbon barrel Zinfandel that we had, that one was really good. Cool. I drank that one for a minute too. I don't know. It's a toss up. I can't. I can't choose. Okay. okay. What's the next question? Because we love um, all the alcohol that we've had. Child, we love wine. Um, how honest are you with yourself, and how often do you tell yourself "I love you"? Every day, Ooh. bitch. And the thing is, the reason is because every day I also feel like I ain't shit. <laughs> so so like, it's a bad thing. Yeah, because like I mean, if I have a bad moment, I'm like, oh, this is why I'm such and such, and then I'm like. Bitch, stop it. <laughs> You're amazing. That inner voice is the yes, killer, right? Because I mean, I feel like, but the negative one is the one who tries that's to overpower. Yeah. yeah. And it's like the positive voice has to be the yeah. one that says, Bitch, get your ass I back. Win. <laughs> yeah. And it must. Like, yeah. whenever we say, Bitch, I know. Like the good angel and the bad yeah. angel. Yeah. It's really all mental. It's like, it is. And your spirit and shit's fighting. Because, and I think it's because society tells us all the time. Don't be too cocky. Yeah. Don't be too this. Don't do this. Da, da, da. So instead of being like, <laughs> we're like, I hate this school. I hate this school. Y'all, have to, y'all have to see I how mean, she just like flipped her hair with yes. her bun on. Me. But she got, she has the whole turban. On yeah, her. yeah. So Danielle, what is your answer? Your um, response? So I actually. Like earlier in the year, probably like I was, I was like really into doing affirmations mm-hmm. and um, like I would, I would look in the mirror and I would say my affirmations to myself and I would smile. Like some days I would just like smile at myself just to make myself feel better, yeah, you know? Cause good. like, um, so it was like a whole little experiment that I had with maybe like probably, it probably went off by like three months. Oh, and good. I really kind of feel like I should um, get back into doing I feel my like you should make that a fucking thing. Like, people are going to be like, yes, Danielle, we so, want to do it too. Um, but it's, 
I will say this about looking at yourself in the mirror and saying positive things to yourself and and right and just like and receiving it back and smiling like that I would say that that was like something that was transformative for me just just so I could be like you know what you you are fucking great like you you I I have a tendency to think I have a tendency to think negative things about myself, but then I want to, I think positive things about uh, other, people. Of other people, right? But internally, it's like, you know, no, that's not for you, or whatever, da, da, da. but then like somebody else has something great going on, or if somebody else is down, it's like, no, girl, you can do this, or whatever, blah, 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 blah or whatever, like that. Right. Like, I have that tendency to be that for other people, other than And yeah, and she's on it. it. She like, says it like, no, yeah, like, you can do this, you're tripping, right. blah, 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 blah. Yes. As soon as you try to get down on you, she's like, she's like no, no. first of all, no. What? But then like, you be oh, trying to tell her, and she's like, no, no, no I said no, stop. No, no. Yeah. I said I'm talking about it, I don't want to talk about it. So it was, so it was actually a really good experience experiment for myself I mean and I would I actually would encourage other people to say even if you just say like I love you every day and just see the change that you you start to feel about yourself and you notice how your perspective changes about other people because other people aren't changing true or like one compliment that you give to other folks right oh my god I love your sweater right get in the mirror and be like bitch I sweat a bomb and you know what another thing (laughs) (laughs) I mean maybe not that (laughs) oh my god yeah. Another thing that I was like trying to do that I was hey, really, what the fuck? <laughs> another thing I tried to do that I was unsuccessful at was just like really like looking people in the eyes. I passed them by and smiled at them, you know, because you know you, we have a tendency to just kind of like just hurry up and get to wherever yes. we're going, yes. and then you have like a brief moment of connection with somebody else, but you don't. You want to like, oh, I don't want them to think that this, this or that or. Or I'm trying to do this or that or whatever. Like you have those internal thoughts. It's like, you know what? Let me just be me and what would actually come natural. You know, you see somebody, it's like, oh, let me smile or whatever. Just a greeting not to flirt. Mm. See, but my yeah. smile be like. It's just like, hey, you know, how you doing? I you am just, smiling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but those things have a way of changing you for the yeah, better. That's true. So, I mean, that's I mean cool. when you put yourself in a positive disposition, you can be like a lot it, a lot more free to be like, hey, you know, like even though this is what my smile looks like to strangers, I'll be positive as fuck. I'll be like, girl, you better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as soon as they talk to me, I'm like, mm-hmm. Michaela, she's like, every time. She always smiles. But then she's also a vicious monster. So She's not a vicious monster. When I got here tonight, she, her face, she was like, she always She smiled. had already got in the car, but then I guess your mom let her out the car and she came to my car and she was like, She's always like, smiling. She's just a, a happy child. She, she is, is. She's naturally, happy. naturally. But I, I think that she's siphoning all my energy. She's perfect. <laughs> I think that kids, most kids, are that way. I would say yeah. um, they're just naturally happy, and mm-hmm. you know, I think because I mean, this is going to sound kind of preachy, and so 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 but they, I think that they're because they're like closer to God, Little and close, you know, I mean, so I think that they just have that bundle of energy, and they already know things that we have to learn as adults like you need to be creative or you need to put your energy into something that you like doing Mm -hmm. like kids don't really do anything that they don't like to do they only do what they like they only do what they like and we as adults we tend to push aside what it is that we like Mm -hmm. to do do what we need need to do do or whatever instead of incorporating what we like into Into what we need right and that's that's like the number one thing about work like yeah. I wish that I I want to be a media personality like that's what I like to do and so for Christmas this year I bought well Santa Claus brought a lot of painting stuff and art shit because that's what she likes to do mm-hmm. you know she's a creative and I want her that's why I'm throwing away them toys because she'd just be like ah, I'm just making a mess so I just bought a lot of painting stuff so that she could go out and be artistic mm-hmm. rather than mess up shit. Right. That's really what she wants that's to what do. She wants just, to. Her, I mean, I'm sure her brain is like, oh. it you is. know, I guarantee yeah. it is. It's so everywhere. it's good for her to be able to do that to focus and, and to, channel yeah. that energy. Right. And, so, and she really likes it. So she. Oh, so it'll. Produce I know. Her. I forgot. We just went all over the tangent. Is that the last one? Oh no, no, no. We have more questions. I mean, do y'all want the dirty ones? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, well, this makes no sense. No. Does vagina size matter to men? The fuck do I know? Like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what does vagina size matter to men? You gotta have a fatness. It's the feel. It's the feel it's first. The grips, right? Yeah. Like, it's, it's gotta be a little bit Bang tight. Out. No. Or That's a lot of it tight. Insert it. No, I mean, like, once it's in there, you gotta, like, grip it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be able to squeeze yeah. it. Oh, so do your kegels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do your kegels so you can go. So I think even if, if it, like a small vagina with no walls doesn't work. But I, there, I there mean, you gotta no have in a, you gotta have some fatness on the outside. <laughs> but I've then, heard you guys said like a little bit of fat on the outside. I'd like it to be a little bit. Fat. A little. I don't a know why. Like a little I feel like. Fat. Oh yeah, no, never they mind. They do I'll like it. Like, that's why they're like, oh, bitch had a camel toe. It's a little bit fat on the outside. <laughs> you just gotta have a little bit of fat on the outside, and then just and vicious. then a lot of. Tightness on the inside. So do your kegels. And yes, it does matter. No, I don't think your natural size matters. No, because I mean, like whole babies come out. Let's be real. Like, like your dick is yeah, but if your body stretches back or goes back, I mean, some people who have. Let me put it like this: If your walls are that wide, that ain't the man for you. Okay, if somebody and also maybe his dick is just small. Right, that's what I'm saying. I was trying to say that. that Oh, fuck that! No, your dick is small. Next. I mean, I mean, he might have a small dick. If a tampon, like, let's be real. It's holding you up. It's holding And it stays. And it stays. Like, if it is. Okay. It, like, he might just like not that. have a the regular girth. tampon. Not even the super Not even a super blood. The right. regular. <laughs> like, the girth. I know you bigger than a regular tampon. Like, if you're not, I feel so sorry for you. For you. Like, but I don't care. I don't know. Like, I feel like you need to strap up. I've moved on. <laughs> I feel like if a man <laughs> is telling you yeah. that your <laughs> vagina <laughs> is too big, for yes, him, you. if a man tells you that your vagina is too big for him, that's not the penis for you. You need to it's, find somebody really with more birth. Yeah. Next. Okay. Um. Hmm. I answer this shit. I love Have you ever time. made a man come by giving a foot job? Um, I wouldn't put my foot on someone's penis. Like no uh, comment. <laughs> I feel like that's Keith Plowden. That's the only part. I feel like that's. Oh yeah. Part. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not ashamed. I have. It's not a key question. Oh my with, with, No, bitch. With both of my feet together. Yeah, of course you have to. How you can't do it between your toes. So you would like that? That you uh, can. I can. You like bitch. the armless lady that like picks up everything with her feet? Should be like. Oh ooh. my god. <laughs> Next question. Oh my god. I sure have. <laughs> Um, I've, I've run across a lot of feet freaks though, like people that that are have foot fetishes. I've had a guy that I've dated before that literally took me. I was in Nordstrom's looking for some. Oh, I buy their undershirts. So Nordstrom's has like these undershirts that are like fifteen dollars. I've been wearing these motherfuckers for like twelve years. I swear I have every color, and they're the best. They're really thin, whatever. So I was in there just trying to grab. The, I know exactly where they are on the third floor. I go grab them, get my size, get the fuck out. That motherfucker walked in there into the shoe department and was like, oh no, you coming downstairs. I swear to God, I can't tell you how many pairs of shoes I tried on. Walked and then out. you also gave him a foot job. No, no, that wasn't the same person. That's ridiculous. But I walked out with a couple of pairs of new shoes. Try that, yeah, what? And then the <laughs> Next. Um, let's see. Spit or swallow? Swallow. Spitters or quitters? <laughs> Spitters or quitters? <laughs> Oh my god. Me and Tron are like, girl, I don't know. Give me that shit. She's like, no, really, like, it's not just that I love the taste of it or anything like that, because I don't taste it. I just. And just so y'all know, these questions are from our Facebook group. Um, We kind of poked, Danielle, not we. Danielle Pope made a post on there and said, what questions would you, would you guys like, you know, answered or whatever. So. She's kind of just filtering through, pulling her her questions she wants to ask. That was a disgusting question. I should not make. I don't know. I don't see. They was like, I don't that. see what the problem <laughs> is. Absolutely not even in my mouth or my face. They yeah. <laughs> was like, spit, gross. <laughs> they will be like, uh-huh. you better get your dick out of my face. <laughs> even she probably you don't suck dick, man. She doesn't like to. Man. I'm her smoke source, so she doesn't like to. Okay, never mind. She don't. Never mind. Go ahead. Next She's one. a pillow princess. Next. Um, when is Danielle putting that resistance crap to bed? Never. You just heard her say she don't suck dick. Resist Never. for life. Uh, this is a resistance 
I mean, and the reason why I came up with the resistance because there were just so many people. <laughs> there were so many people complaining about dating and it's like, just let the human race die off already. Stop complaining. Just be by yourself. You don't have to worry about it. And I said, you have to worry about child support. You don't have to worry about paying for the date. You don't have to worry about going Dutch. Uh, none of that stuff. You have to worry about dig. You have to worry about You don't, you don't have to come. No, you don't have to you get penetrated. None of that. Masturbate. Bitch, Masturbate for life. I hate this. Bitch. Masturbate for life. <laughs> I hate this. Bitch. Masturbate for life. <laughs> we should oh, make some no. fucking shirts. <laughs> And put the blood center logo on it and then say masturbate for life. They're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you don't have to worry about disease and like all of these risks and being afraid of being vulnerable and you know, who's gonna pay. That this really is sounds bullshit. like some shit that you came up with this just because of all the shit that be in your head. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. I don't support the cause. <laughs> Call me a bad friend. I'm not supporting it. I mean, I'm not behind just, it. Just me resist. Either. Resist it. Like, Stop it already. If you're going to complain 24 7, then just don't deal with people. When I resist, I'm going to just lock my legs a little bit before you try to get in there. Okay, no. 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 But then, uh-huh. stop. stop. I'm going to pretend to be like, ooh, stop. No. My resistance oh, lasts like five to ten. I'm going to be like, second. Second. <laughs> okay. Five to ten. <laughs> Next question. I hate this bitch. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'll do a good one. Um, what in your estimation makes a black girl woman so beautiful? A black girl woman. Girl start slash over. woman, start over. A girl slash woman. Go back to the front. The person that asked the question, I need you to go back to the beginning and edit that. What? She probably read it wrong. This is what in your estimation mm-hmm. makes a black girl slash woman so oh, she beautiful. Did, she didn't say. <sighs> Bitch, everything. The <laughs> fuck? Melanin? Um, mel- yes, melanin. Start. Lips. Body. Ew. Curls. And the pearls. Edgy. I'll say, like, the fact that black women have to be so strong and are still able to be vulnerable. And feminine. In feminine. <laughs> Femininity. And, femininity. Yeah, and and keep up with your femininity and like sort of bear oh, everything <laughs> and I, I'll say one thing I do hate though is about how black women are kind of like the saviors now for like everybody but I'm not for that's, the that's a whole women. nother topic but, but I mean black women do come through the like, fuck through for us so no no for see. everybody like think of like I'm just for example like in Alabama when um, all those uh, like black women were the um, they had all these races uh, running for Congress and mm-hmm. different races and stuff there, and black women showed up and got those people out the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like they were it was like ninety percent like black women or something there. But so I feel like and my shit's real simple, and I just ordered a book on today. The book is titled African Woman. The original guardian angel, and I feel like we are the original. The original, uh, no. Okay, we are the first person. Like, yeah. So <laughs> we originated all of this shit, <laughs> bitch. Why are you not gonna like your creator? The fuck? It's like, I what's that Jay Z song? I am a god. Did you say your creator? Yes, we we created all of this. That's bitch, like, this black woman is, is your mother. Mother, mother. What if your you? mother? And she's not even black. Well, she's Cape Verdean. Right. I just feel like at the end of the day, we are... We're that nigga. Every, we're everything. We're your, we're your best friend. We're your mom. We're your cousin. We're your aunt. Your mother. Did I say mom already? We're mother. your mother. A lot of sometimes cases where it's just unavoidable. You're the father. You are the best friend. You are the support at work. You are... You know, because we... I feel like... Incredibly smart. Incre- yeah. Always smart. Incredibly smart. But always, sometimes. I mean, it's, some, it's a few basic It's a few bits, basic but, bits, but we got to help our sisters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, as far as being creative, sometimes it's a hard day. You have to be creative with this meal. Like, bitch, I got 20 minutes where I'm going to die. Like, yeah. there are so, we are so multifaceted. It's su- such a, 
every day is like a, a whole new just creation, just creative wise, and you know what I'm saying, just making shit happen. Like we are really just like we're fucking Who special. Who the fuck y'all think came up with gumbo? Yes. We're angels. Did somebody throw know some shit like literally like, gumbo a bitch. literally means just throw the shit in? There. No, a bitch that was low on cash and bitch yeah. I gotta feed these kids and I got all get all this rice. And somebody, so, but in and Africa, Africa as rice. fuck before slavery was like hold on and then let me see because gumbo literally means like mm-hmm. okra mm-hmm. like put the okra in there throw some shit in there. Like, I don't want to eat sticky food, but, I mean, they probably didn't know about cooking it. I think it's first. everything, the, the essence, like, the our ingenuity. smell, our just, yeah, just yeah, every yeah. fucking thing. Like, how could, how, first of all, the question is, how the fuck can you not? <laughs> That's the question. Next, girl, keep moving on. Next Please time. go on, because um, I'm about to make it happen. Is that about it? I mean, I mean, we probably, we can just go ahead and wrap up, I guess. Okay. So, how did y'all like the wine? I thought it was pretty good. I like the tequila barrel age. I think I said that before though on the last one I brought that because Danielle. Yeah. Ended up, oh, you brought that. One yeah, because she like literally ended up like I like wouldn't bought that wine. Like I have that wine at home. I was like, you. I, thought, oh, bitch. <laughs> I did. I went and bought it. I did. <laughs> it's good. I like and it. And the bottle is beautiful. Both of the ones that you guys brought. Yeah. Yeah. No. They're Y'all good. Know, know how I feel about alcohol. It don't take five minutes to become drunk. Yeah. Don't no. see. Mm. I couldn't even say it good. It don't take. So what's your what's your score? You know it has a nice smell to it. And I'm just not smelling it. <laughs> I smelled it when I when we first poured it. I go first. I smelled it when we first poured it. The only thing I feel like that I don't like, like even the flavor is good, but I think the barrel I just taste. I have, I have like very I have very um, sensitive taste buds, which is like a gift and a curse. So I can taste the wood flavor. But that's just me, because I'm weird. I can taste kind of the wood in it. So that part I don't like, because it leaves a small aftertaste. Mm. The smell is beautiful. The color is great. The taste, the flavor is wonderful. But that aftertaste, to me, Sharonda, I taste wood. Okay. I flip down the hand. What's your number? I'm looking good. I'm going to give it a 21. Diamonds up against that wood. Mm-hmm. Flip down the air, you know, mother. Banging school, bitch. I'm diamonds, diamonds up, up against that wood. So it's your line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a 23 because I thought it was good. I mean, of course, when I smelled it later, it does smell like the barrel. The wood. Hello. But it's okay. Mm-hmm. Please answer. Average is a 22 for the wine. I think that's a good, a good yeah. number. Yeah. So we average on can't do it. First of all. Okay. Girl. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. My son keeps calling. I'm about to cuss him out. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you for joining us on Between Us Girls. But don't keep it a secret. Listen and share with everyone you know. See you next week.